Shalom. They double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders of GMS and this other side. So out here to prophesy again to wake up the twelve lost, wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Ooh, good scripture. Perfect scripture. Look at the glasses. Here. So like if the audio ain't too good, like I said, I'm looking into a different camera. Something else to record with, you know, to have better sound, not so much of that feedback in it. That could be a little annoying at times, man. You know, the sound of a lot of these cameras. Low grade cameras, I guess. Alright, so here we go. Whole different feel, man. You can switch it up a little bit, different day. Whole different day. Different times, you know what I'm saying? It's all about fishing, man. You're fishing. You know? It's all about fishing. You're going to fishing holes, you go to different fishing holes. You know, certain fish are pretty much known at this spot or that spot. But we're here to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is scattered, man. So we go wherever there's a pretty much a large group of uh, all the nations, you know, so-called white man and mainly the so-called white man. Uh, so-called Negroes, people of Latino, any descent, are pretty much in the areas we go to. But the Lord is pretty much as, uh, he's actually uh, pulling his prophets back a little, you know, by going to different spots, you know. So brothers is known at different spots. And then usually the Lord, like I said, got, this, got the prophets moving around. He's pretty much got the prophets dusting their feet in certain areas, man, you know. So it says here, this is Matthews uh, 15 and 23, but he answered her not a word, and the disciples came and he saw him saying, send her away for she cried after her. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know? Well, these niggas don't know. That's why they call themselves, what's up, my nigga? That's why they call themselves, my nigga. My nigga. That's why they call themselves Afro-American, African-American, or black. You know what I'm saying? They caught up in all these other uh, false identities that this goddamn devil label. And they take it and eating it up, man. They take straight up eating it up. You know? Never trust thy enemy, man. And everything that's in me give you and tell you is going to be a goddamn lie. It's as simple as that, man. Everything about this devil is about deceit and, 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 and just misleading your ass, man. So to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, I'm speaking of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Israel was scattered amongst the other nations. So there's Jace living up, or growing up amongst those other nations who we look at, or who a lot of those groups look at as heathens. 
in which they are heathens, but there's our people scattered amongst them motherfuckers, man. Amongst them heathens, man. You know? And we use it all the time, which is popular. We always tell you, like, Bruce Lee is a perfect, and that's a perfect example of a brother, man. Bruce Lee, just listen to him. Man. Look at him. Facial expressions. You don't see heathens with those type of facial expressions, man, when doing, with, uh, you know, when dealing with his passion, when dealing with their passion, man. You know, or just everyday interacting, man. You know, just listen to the man. He made a, uh, 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 he, uh, one of his uh, interviews, one of his interviews, his master taught him to, to know, to know, to, to know, to be, and to do. To know, to be, and to do. And in his spirit, he was speaking about something else, but to know, to be, and to do. To know the truth, to be um, of, the, uh, of the 12 tribes of Israel, and to do the work. Man, I was like, pow! It blew my mind, man. You know? Bruce Lee makes a lot of, he made a lot of, uh, um, well, you know, he, he, he mentioned a lot of proverbs. He said a lot of proverbs. He spoke in a lot of proverbs or, and, um, and parables. Bruce Lee, you know? And like I said, his passion was a fighter. He was a fighter, but he was also into philosophy. You know, that's a Jake, man. You know, Jake loved to sound good. Not just to look good, Jake loves to sound good. You know what I mean? Personally, I don't like to be heard. Not as far as, not as far as the truth, but I'm, I'm a quiet individual, man. I'm not loud and outspoken, and, you know? I like to listen. I like to sit back and listen, man. You know what I'm saying? That's who I am, man. You know? But that Jake, that is a characteristic of Jake. Jake like to be had. He like to be heard, man. He like to sound good, you know. And he like to look good. <laughs> now, on the other hand, I may lean to the more I like to look good, you know. I was into that madness of, you know, that clothing and you know, look jewelry, you know, not nowhere near as much. But I'm, I still get a little clean every once in a while for doing a nice clean sweatsuit or jogging suit. Or a nice shirt with some jeans and some boots. You know, I still know, I know how to dress. <laughs> you know, but that's Jake. That's powerful that Bruce Lee made that statement because it always stuck with me to know to be and to do. That's what he said that his teacher taught him to live by. You know, that was bad, man. So anyway, we, Bruce Lee is one of those uh, examples we use to explain the Israelite foreigners, what an Israelite foreigner is, man. Know, amongst the other nations. Now, all, all Jake's ain't gonna look like um, IUIC. <laughs> no, I, all Israel ain't gonna look like all the ISUPK. <laughs> Those niggas just rejecting every goddamn body, man. You know? And don't be surprised if they start, and actually, they probably, I know IS, uh, uh, I know Nathan was pushing that, uh, I know some of them are pushing Esau's not gonna be slaves in the kingdom, man. They ain't going to hell off, man. Straight up going to hell off, man. It's beautiful, man. Um, but like I said, it says, um, to the lost, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And going into that, let me get this. Had a hell of a day working yesterday. Whew, I'm still broke down from it. Straight up. Still broke down from it, man. Body hurting. Body hurting. I'm tired of all this labor for these goddamn day devils for fucking crumbs. You know? Even though we start our own little sick cleaning service, man. Still crumbs, man, you know? And besides, I'm not trying to labor to be get fucking rich any goddamn way, man. I'm just trying to pay some bills. Simple as that. Every little extra, you know? Have a little extra. It's always good to, you know, have a little extra. You know, a brother might be in need, or, you know, sending in your, your, your tights or paying alms, man, period, man. Just being generous, and, you know. So it says here. Here 
we go. It's been a while since I actually looked it up. But just going into the word lost. What's the saying? Lost sheep. I'm not sure. Yeah, it got lost separate. Appalling me. Appalling me. Come on, baby. Apollo me. So it says to destroy. Alright? The lost sheep. Lost. Going into the word lost in the Greek is Apollo me. Apollo me. Apollo me. Apollo me. Sloppy. Which means to destroy, to put out of the way entirely. You know? And that's what to happen with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for his transgression, his, his laws, and his commandments, man. It's for us not hard to listen to him. He destroyed us, man. So he sent his goddamn sorry ass, that sorry ass sword out to the so called white man, you know, as his sword, as his whooping stick, and did exactly that. He used his goddamn devil as his whooping sticks to destroy us, man. And it worked, you know. What a goddamn thing we can do about it, man, but fall into the hands of the when a damn thing we can do but fall into the hands of the living power, man. Don't listen to these niggas talking about they uh uh they coming together, um, building arms to come up against this man. You know? But at the same time coming up and scoffing against our Bible and our faith. You know, talking about we believing in some sky god, you know? The Lord gonna destroy those pieces of garbage, man. You know? But like I said, don't listen to these niggas as Perfect examples of not fucking around coalition niggas. The new Black Panther Party. The Nation of Islam with fairy clowns ass. And so on and so on, man. It's a whole illness of those rats, man. That are just totally going to hell off, man. You know? We ain't gonna overcome this goddamn devil with some arms that he done got, uh, that he done mastered. This is a message, man. This is a serious message and a warning to J to your Jakes, man. You ain't gonna beat this goddamn devil with your arms. Not even these low life, these low level Edomites, man. You ain't gonna defeat them motherfuckers, man. This is all the Lord's hunt. This is the this is gonna be the Lord's work, man. That's gonna destroy these devils, man. And even two thirds, you know, what it's all about. So anyway, the Lord the Lord destroyed us, man, by sending this devil on us. And then after after so many years and years, we were. They totally erased it out of our out of our uh, out of our memory, man. By separating the families, you know, slavery did its thing, man. Slavery did its thing on us, man. You know, the heritage, man. We totally left the heritage, man. The heritage is literally totally taken away from us. Period, man. You know, there was time, so you know that we knew we were Israelites when we came and came over here on those cargo slave ships. You know, we knew we were Israelites, man. But like I said, this devil knew what he was doing. Separating the mom and the, the, the mother and the, the father and the child. Send them off to different plantations and shit, man. You know? That ain't no, you know, that's that's part of the scriptures itself. Then putting to cap, then taking them to captivity by these ships, you know, around 28 and 68. You know? So that was all the Lord's hands. That was all in the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So anyway, it says to put out of the way entirely abolished, put an end to ruin, render useless, to kill, to declare that one must be put to death, to devote or give over to an eternal misery of in hell. And here we are. That's the perfect one. To devote or give over to eternal misery in hell. And this is it, man. That hell we're going through. The hell we're living. You know? To perish, to be lost, ruined, destroyed. Okay? So the lost sheep lost sheep don't even know they're Israelites, man. You know? And I'm kind of surprised that it still mind boggles me now that niggas, there's some niggas you might run up on, they still don't know or even heard of Israel, man. I find that hard to believe, though, but it may exist. Like last week, man. The brother. Or the week before, the brother, man. Uh, he, 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 he said no. Never heard of him. You know? All over the internet, all on the and his great millstone is on the highways and the byways. And I gotta mention those those uh those IUIC. You may see them out here when it's nice, when it's nice. You may even see them walking through the hood deep, you know. 
damn it, knocking on motherfuckers' doors, man. Going to hell. Oh, I you see, and what's the other one with um the comfy, comfy's dead comfy's group, man. I guess they still out. Uh, somebody, somebody picked up the uh, somebody must have picked up the uh, the, 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 the the blank check and carrying it on for comfy's. I can't remember the name of that wicked ass group, man. So lost sheep, ain't lost sheep, man. And so it says. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So I'm not gonna go into what else is going into. But anyways, it's so, all so, so for edification. So anyway, just the lost sheep. I have had a uh, I wanted to go into something else today, but you know, maybe Lord will the spirit of God. So going into the lost sheep. children and children's children and ye shall have remained long in the land and shall corrupt yourselves and shall corrupt yourselves Deuteron what is this Deuteronomy again 4 is it 4 yes 4 25 let me go into this just looking it up on my blue letter transgression of the Lord not listen here, you know. And it still amazes me that motherfuckers walk by. And still don't have a question. And still have no no no, no curiosity to even look at the the, uh, the edifying signs, you know. And the signs itself uh, should stimulate and, and motivate you to even ask a question, you know. This thing that you, the Lord got us doing, man, is is flawless. The signs itself got should the, the twelve tribe signs, the tribe, the signs of uh, the mark of the beast, um, the the. the the sign with Esau and Jacob, signs of Hamites, Jezreel Borgir, and so on and so on should stimulate a question, man. But Jake, well, like I said, if the if stinking bitches ain't around, they ain't looking up. They even looking at their phone, walking like they in a fucking uh, zombie trance or something, man. Uh, not even awake, not even uh, not even conscious. They're walking, they're eating, uh, drinking a beer, but they're not even they're not even open, man. Their minds not even open, man. Just walking like zombies, man. It's amazing, man. You know? You want to talk about that word lost, man. That's lost. That's somebody that's destroyed, man. Lost, man. Just lost. You know? You get lost in a... I mean, you hear you find, you find, hear about these cases of people um, getting lost in what they call um, the Grand King on their hikes in these, on, in these big-ass mountains ranges and... And people don't hear about them for after days. They call out a, they send out a search warrant. Them motherfuckers out there lost and they end up dead. They find them dead. And that's the same thing. That's the spirit, man. That's the same thing with these people. They're lost. So ultimately, it's leading, leading to their death and to their, to their cause they're destroyed. It's going to ultimately lead to their death, man. Not even knowing that we out here to wake them the hell up. Give them some, give them, giving them some living water. Giving them, trying to feed these people, man. But they, you know, they, they're too far gone, man. They just too far gone, man. What scripture is that? That's um, 24. It's amazing. It's still, it just amazes me to this day. 
it still amazes me after all this madness, all this shit that's going on in the world, these motherfuckers are still walking. I'm not sure if the camera picked up the dude who walked by a little while ago. Gone, man. Just, you know, we can do to them, but make our presence known. You know? Ain't nothing we can do but uh, 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 make your how your how about shit your how size word word known. You know? Period. It says in 25, and thou shalt beget children, and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves. Corrupt yourselves, shall corrupt yourselves. How do you corrupt yourself? Main way, now listen, now, now take a heed. of the world, man. The pollutions of this world, man. This world, everything, and everything about this goddamn world is corrupt, period. So the word corrupt is shokah. 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 Which means to destroy, corrupt, go to ruin and decay, to be marred, be spoiled, be corrupt, be corrupt, be injured, be ruined, be rotted, to the spoil and ruin, to pervert, corrupt, deal corruptly, to spoil, ruin, destroy. That's the main thing. Even your leaders, even your two third leaders, man, even your, your, the leader of your niggas, man, are corrupt. So what do they do? They as they go on, they continue on. They, it's, they, they, that's their job. That's they they took the bag for. That's why they're receiving the crumbs that they're receiving, so they can get out there and destroy, man, to do even more corruption. You know. Like the definition says, deal corruptly. You know, to pervert, corrupt morally. To pervert, to 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 pervert, corrupt morally. And that's one thing about two thirds. They look, they lacketh morals. No morals, man. You know, no morals. None. Here, going in the word moral. Here, let me do this. difference between right and wrong. You know? Come on, I love Jesus. I love God. How the hell you know if you lost, man? You don't know the difference between right and wrong. That's why your lifestyle reflects just that, man. You know? You don't need to go into these niggas' lifestyles, man. You already know it's full of, a, of, the, uh, of, of wickedness. Don't even know right or wrong, man. You know? Don't you ask them what's a sin, don't even know what a sin is. The simple murder, they murder and stealing. The simple, the, the basic, a basic, the basic. And even that, they're not looking at it as a sin because it's their lifestyle. This is crazy, man. You talking to them like the dude that was out here before back a couple weeks ago. The murders he said he was committing, he was speaking as if it was. It was, it's okay, it's normal and shit, it's okay, you know? Like this is the goddamn gladiator, the, uh, the whole world is a gladiator sport. That's how they look at it, man. Murderers, man. Okay, so it says, behave course of life in regard to right and wrong, often specifically with regard to sexual conduct. They're fucking anything and everything, you know? 
So let's go back to the scripture, man. So to pervert corrupt morally, destroyer. Going back to the scripture. So it says, in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves and make a graven image or the likeness of anything and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy power to provoke him to anger to this damn day, man. And, uh, and Jake, Jake show no signs of slowing down. <laughs> Jake getting worse and worse, man. Every generation, they having babies, they getting worse and fucking worse, man. The scripture said their children, their children's children, they getting worse and worse as each generation comes along, man. They get, and you see it happening. It says, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy power to provoke him to anger. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you amongst the nations, and ye shall be left few in number amongst the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And it's to this day, man, even to this day, the lost sheep of the house of Israel scattered, man, scattered. And it's easy to never notice a, a Jake. Man. That's how powerful the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, that's how powerful the, the spirit of a Jake is, man. It's an Israelite spirit, man. They can't mask it, you know? Once they get to talking and you start to uh, 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 interact with them, man, you know it's a Jake, man, you know? Esau can't fake the funk, man. <laughs> Esau can't fake the funk. So let me get back into this Bible here. Yeah? And it says this, And the Lord shall scatter you amongst the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen with you, the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see or hear, or eat, or smell. That's that Jezreel Bourgier bullshit. You know? That's these Harlan houses that's got these, uh, that, they got, that, that, uh, they got these, you know, they got these touchdown Jesuses. The touchdown Jesus burnt down. They haven't ever rebuilt the motherfucker. That was near Cincinnati, I think. Uh, uh, south of here, Southwest of her. Uh, touchdown Jesus. We made big news when that motherfucker burnt down. <laughs> so it says, But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. Ooh! Now repeat that again. But it, if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, Yahweh Yahweh thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, sincerity, when thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy power, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy power is a merciful power. He will not be, he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore unto them. For as now of the days that are past, which were before thee, once since the days that Most High created man upon the earth, and asked from the one side of heaven unto the other whether there had been any such thing as this great thing. This great thing is, or have been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of the Most High speaking out of the midst of fire as thou hast heard and live? Or have the Most High? No, we haven't. But the thing is, we, that's why we, did, we, we, we rely on our faith. We believe it. We didn't have the opportunity to see uh, the, 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 the example with Daniel um, put in the midst of the fire. He was in there with Yahweh Shah. You know? Daniel and his brother, I can't believe the name of Mish, uh, the names is on the tip of my tongue, but they in the fire. Nebuchadnezzar looks in the fire and he see the man walking in there standing around talking with Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Great faith, man. Or have the Most High say to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation 
by temptation, by signs, by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your power did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Unto thee it was known that thou mightest know that the Lord, he is the power. There is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice. And those, that's that, that's that grateful elect that heard his voice. You know, it's that voice, within that voice is a warning, man. That trumpet, that, you know, that warning. You know? And not everybody's going to hear that warning. You know? Because they're walking in a different vibration. You know? Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee in upon earth. He showed thee great signs, showed his, the, his great signs, his great fires, like, and thou had heard his, his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them. You see, so it's, it looks like it's a, it's a, it's a blood line, it's a blood thing, man, his seed, you know? Uh, Romans 9, that's that seed. And because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought thee out, brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt. So let me I'm gonna come back to that. Let me get this Romans. And now, like I said, man, that seed ain't always gonna look like uh, John Shaft, man. You know, what's how I gonna destroy y'all black, your black Israelites, man? Your nigger Israelites, nigger lights, nigger eyes. The hell they are, nigger eyes. That crazy ass bullshit doctrine they got, man. It's all Israelites are black. Even the, even the north, the northern and southern kingdom is black. That's what they teach you, fools, man. You know, fools, man. And I know, you, I know, I, I understand where you're coming from. You got a, you know, you got a, a, a anger toward these nations, man. A, and even a hatred toward these other nations, man. But you gotta open them. Unfortunately, you gotta use your 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 uh your 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 spiritual eye, man, instead of your fucking vagina, your emotions, man. Get out your goddamn Western way of thinking, emotional, your emotional thinking, and open your spiritual eye, man. A lot of your penile glands ain't nothing but a piece of metal now. A lot of your peanut gland is so solid it's a piece of metal now. So yeah. <laughs> that's why your spirit is off, man. That's why your behavior is off, man. That's why I was going into the word morals, you know. Everything about you is off, man. And we're trying, we do what we can to give you the truth by bring, and bringing you back into the, into putting you back into line, man. You know. But just like I said, man, to some people it. It ain't, there, there's no helping them. There ain't no, there's no helping them, man. This is Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. It, it began, I say the truth <laughs> in Yahweh Shai. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. That I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So it's a seed thing. Not a black thing. Who are Israelites? In a specific, who, according to the flesh, who are Israelites? Ooh, let me do that. Got so many scriptures to look up. <laughs> so many scriptures. This is why it's important to go into these words. This it gives you a better understanding. You ain't got no choice. Unless you want, you know, if you want the truth, you got to do it the way it's supposed to. You got to bring it out. The way it's supposed to be brought out, in truth, man. You know, it's just simple as that. And like I said, I know it hurts a lot of these, the coochies of a lot of these, the, 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 you know, the most of Israelites, but. Okay, 
things that were flesh, which is uh, Sorx, the Greek is Sorx, Sorx. According to the flesh, the soft substance of the living body which comes to point and is pre permeated with blood of both man and woman and beast, both man and beast, the body, the body of man and beast, and natural or physical origin, generation or relationship, use of natural or physical origin, generation or relationship. Born of, nat born of natural generation, the central nature of man, the animal nature, without any suggestion of the animal, the animal nature, the cravings which incite to sin, the physical nature of man, as subject to suffering, a living creature because possessed of the body of flesh, where the man of beast of flesh denotes their human nature, the earthly nature of man apart from divine influence, and therefore prone to sin, and opposed to most man. So it, is, you have, it does have generation, or generation or relationship. So, according to the flesh, it says, who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? So you just can't bring, well, put it this way. The other nations are not a part of this period, man. You know, they can, they, no matter they want to play the part, or not go won't go uh, about the uh, you know whatever you, 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 they can't they can't uh, be adopted in the other nations the heathens can't be adopted into this man just cause they're cool they may be cool with you or, you know this ain't this ain't for them man Ham, eat them I should be saying read their Hebrew names <laughs> you know. This is none of theirs, man. This is just for Israelites, man. You know? Pertaining to the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promise. And you wonder why you jakes is getting your ass whooped, man, because the laws is meant for you to follow after. It's meant for you. And since Jake, the rightful rulers of this planet, is, 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 uh, is pretty much on it. It's, it's down, it's been destroyed, man. And you got these heathens on top, you know? You're still supposed to be rehearsing these righteous acts, following after the laws and commands, you know? The laws were given to us, man, you know? And that's why we're destroyed, because we've transgressed the Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, laws and his covenant, his laws and his commandments, period. It says, and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came, who is over all the Most High, blessed for every man. So if that is not that is self-explanatory. Whose are the fathers? So I know my father ain't no goddamn heathen, you know, and his father, and his father's father, and his and on and on back, man, you know. And the funny thing is, the subject of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. I can't, I know I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture, so that means thousands of years ago, the prophets that was doing it, the work back then that was following Yahweh Shai back then are following them now. You know? So the little scripture mentioned your fathers, your father's fathers. Whose are the fathers and, and of whom are, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came who is over all the most high blessed forever. Amen. You know? Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are Israel. They are not Israel, which they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High. But the children of the promise were counted for the seed. For this is the word of the promise. Word of promise, at this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And 
And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High according to an election might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. That's beautiful, man. Let's get back into it. So, jump to the Romans there. <laughs> so, as I finish with that Deuteronomy, speaking about the laws again, uh, they were guests just given to just Israel, Psalms 147. Psalms 147, you know, it's just us, man. This is just for us, man, to clean up our goddamn acts. And that's what our message to these niggas, man, to clean up your goddamn acts, man. Y'all need to clean up your goddamn act and come in and, and come, and, like I said, get back in line, man. You know, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with telling you to get back into line, man? You know, but they take offense of that. How you gonna tell somebody, how you gonna take offense of somebody to tell you that you right? That's how far gone our people these niggas are, man. They just gone, man. You know? So they be they program their wicked ass DNA just to be wicked, man, and just to be fools. Not to even be think about being a brother. You know? You got these old niggas walking around. Don't even want to say what's happening, man. What's up, man? You know? Niggas, man. So they about to meet they maker. In a painful way. A painful way. Stupid motherfuckers. So when I finish with that, he says, And because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought thee out of his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt to draw out nations from before thee greater and mightier than thou art, to bring thee in, to give thee their land for an inheritance that it is this day, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna inherit the, the heathens. We're going the heathen is gonna be part of our inheritance, <laughs> you know? Know therefore this day, and consider it in thine heart, in thy mind, that the Lord, he is the most high, he is the power in heaven above and upon the earth beneath, there is none else, and that's the characteristics of a nigga to lessen the power of the Lord, man, to lessen the power of the most high, you know? To make the most high muscle much, to make your howl much less than what he is, man, that's, that's a that's a that's a nigga that's a nigga custom, man. You know, there's no way in hell that he's who he is in their minds, man. Not my Jesus, not my Jesus. That's what you hear him say. Not not the Lord that I serve. And here they are eating all kind of abominable shit. Here they are sleeping with all kind of abominable things. <laughs> People are gone, man. You know. That's why you don't have the scoffing like you used to no more. Because the world will whoop their ass, man. You know? The world get in their soul and their spirit and it cuts them and eats them, eats them alive, man. I don't know cannibal shit, but it eats them alive, man. You know? Dumb asses. Know therefore this day and consider in thy heart that the Lord, he is the power in heaven above and upon the earth beneath there is none else. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandments which I command thee this day. And that's the beautiful message we're giving to Jake, man. You know? They look at you with their eyes wide open and shocked. Like, you know, they, some might just admit it. I didn't know. I didn't know that. You know, a lot of them want to make themselves equal with you and act like they know. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. You know? And don't know a goddamn thing. Mainly these women, they try and act like they equal with you. They're trying to act like they already know what you're teaching. <laughs> Stupid. Thou shalt keep therefore his statute and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth, which the Lord thy power giveth thee to ever. Forever. Forever. 
forever. Shimmy Howard Shai, the same yesterday and today and forever. So, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm come only for the children of Israel. I'm only for the lost sheep. Go teach the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only for the Israelites. That hasn't changed, man. Ain't nothing about that change. So, this devil can deceive you and take on our identity, our identity our nationality and, and give you a, a whole brand new made up nationality that still don't change that fact man and that's why we're out here man to, to actually bring that to your attention this devil stole these devils of the control of the world stole your stole your identity man they claim to be you with no salt whatsoever man with no 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 salt no rhythm whatsoever they claiming to be you you know claiming to be a power Scripture said a peculiar people, a special people, a peculiar people, man, but but ain't showing no signs of it. <laughs> ain't showing no signs in this book of the prophecies, of teaching on the highways and the byways. None of it, man. They all claim to be the tribe of Judah. <laughs> Where are the rest of the 12 tribes at? Them motherfuckers is gone. 